Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 23 of Last FIFA 14 and as you probably remember in the last episode we did a bit of trading with Mikel but I made a huge mistake, I listed two up overnight and I didn't realize I had the star price at 400 coins so I made a bit of a loss on them and in total I probably lost 3k profit I could have made so in total with all the Mikels I probably only made 1k profit instead of 4k but nonetheless I thought it was time to pick up the main man of the team of the week in former Renault, the five-star Colombian skiller for 16,000 coins, not too expensive there. And then I spent around 1,800, 1,600 coins um, to convert him into a center attacking mid. And I thought, let's go into a game. But then I thought again, maybe I should try and sell him on in a center attacking mid spot. So I list him up for around 5 to 6k more than I bought him for and he sold on relatively quick and I decided well let's pick up another one this time around he went for 18,000 coins 2k more than the other one I bought because it was getting on the point of day where a lot of people were starting to buy cards so the price went up but as his striker card went up in price so did his center attacking mid card so I listed him up once again but this time around for 3,000 coins more than before so I actually made an extra 1k profit on him because he sold on straight away. I was looking at one of the, the Morenos I had an open bid on and I went back out and saw he had sold on straight away the one I just listed up. So, well, I thought, well, there's a bunch of profit to be made here. Three to uh, three and a half to four and a half K profit on each Moreno. Well, let's pick up a bunch of uh, position modifier cards so I can do a bit of trading with several at once. So, yeah, as you can see, I pick up four striker to center forward cards and four center forward to center attacking mid cards. And then I picked up a few more Morenos here until I basically didn't really have any more coins left. So yeah, as you can see here, I ended up having three informer Renos and I converted them all into center attacking mids. And what I did was I listed one up for the price I kind of knew he was going to sell for. So one up here for around uh, 25 to 26k and another one up for a few more thousand to see he, if he actually would sell on for that. And then I took the final and third Moreno I had, convert him into a center attacking mid, and then I felt it was time to head on into Division 2. So basically, we had two Morenos listed up, and then we went on into a game, and we come up against a League 1 side there, and uh, we get a very good start to the game. We haven't even played one minute before we pick the ball up, and Jackson Martinez cuts inside, using the very powerful skill move to go past two defenders and make it 1-0. So a very good start to the game, and just a few minutes later, we're on the ball. It's Quadrado here going past two defenders. He finds the newly bought in for Moreno and he will make it 2-0 get his first goal for the club and we are not done there Moreno once again on the ball a few skill moves here outside the box Go past, goes past one defender he gets it back quite lucky there but he will get a second goal in the game and make it a 3-0 and he's on the ball once again he distributes it out on the wing to an open Zuniga who will cross it in we find a Muriel and a nice volley but it goes over the goal unlucky there and once again Moreno on the ball a bit of a weird bounce but we pick it up once again we go past this keeper I tried for a fancy pass into the back of the net but unfortunately it locked onto my striker and didn't come to anything and instead he would get a goal into the second half to make it 3-1. But in the 66 minute, we break through Moreno once again on the ball, hunting that uh, hat trick there. But unfortunately, he would not get the goal. And he actually gets another chance after some nice work from Martinez. But the keeper will save it. And on the rebound, we hit the post. But then it's 73rd minute. Moreno once again on the ball, turning one defender, going past another one. Muriel picks it up, passes it to Cuadrado. He will get it back again here into the box. And we get quite lucky to somehow get a goal and make it 4-1 and that was pretty much how the game ended a very good performance from Moreno there getting two goals and he was pretty much included in most of the chances so he played a very very well in the game and we pick up another three points and now look at the points in the division you can pause go back and pause I only need 13 points for promotion 16 points for the title and that's a bit of a glitch because normally it's 18 points for promotion 21 points for the title and the coins for the division were also glitched. I would only get 1800 coins instead of 13,000 coins for winning the title. So, some weird glitch going on there, but I went into my next game thinking it might be gone once I played that. So, I went into that game. 
and I got up 1-0 quite early on, and I get another chance just before half time. It's Maicon going past the defender, taking a shot. We pick it up with Zuniga, goes past one defender, a shot over two slide tackles there, and I thought it looked pretty cool in the replay. The shot there going over both of the slide tackles, and yeah, we make it 2-0 just before half time. And into the second half, we get another chance. We break through, and Muriel will get a goal to make it 3-0. But apart from that, not much stuff happened into the second half because it got really, really lucky. I have no clue why if my opponent were downloading something, I have no clue, but not much happened into the second half because it was extremely laggy and in the end the game ended at 3 to nil. but when I looked at the points in the division after the game, it was the same thing as before. I actually secured the promotion with 13 points in Division 2, which were kind of weird in some way and I only needed one more win to actually get the title. But after the game as well, one of the Morenos had sold on and I thought, well, I'll pick up another one and try and make a bit of profit on him. So we pick one up here. And uh, we will uh, put him into our squad and then we'll list the other center attack mid Moreno up because he was already in the transfer list when I swapped the two players around. So we'll list him up for 25 to 26k and then we head on into another Division 2 game and we convert the Moreno here into a center attack mid and switch squad because the other squad were running low on fitness. We place the Moreno on the bench there and then we get ready to head on into that Division 2 game and we could possibly actually pick up the title in this game because of the weird glitch. And we come up against a French side here, a 3-5-2, and we get an early lead actually in the 12th minute with Eto with some nice work here, going past two defenders and making it a 1-0. So a lovely little goal there, and we continue on once again. Eto on the ball here, he cuts inside with a step over, finds an open uh, part who goes past the defender, takes the shot, and on the rebound is Hulk to make it a 2-0. So a comfortable lead, and then in the 18th minute we get our next nice chance. So it took quite a while, but it's a Shirley on the ball. He tries out the shot, and two minutes later, look at this. A heel pass to Ronaldinho, a little fake Rabona into a sombrero flick past the defender, and he'll tug it into the bottom corner. Lovely goal from Ronaldinho there, and he secures us the final goal uh, for the promotion or winning the title in Division 2 because of that weird glitch. And a lovely little goal that was going past the defender there with the sombrero flick. And yeah, we actually pick up the title with 16 points. It was a really weird glitch. I have no clue why it's there. And apparently, I asked out on Twitter, and a lot of other people have experienced this. So I, I'm not too sure why it is. But I only get 1,800 coins for winning the title, which was a bit of a disappointment. And as you can see, one of the Morenos had sold on. And after that, I decided, you know what? I'm going to open one of the uh, packs because I had some FIFA points left uh, from when I opened the 100k pack. And I thought, because of the glitch, I kind of missed out on a bunch of coins. And I thought, well, let's open up a pack and make that our kind of, uh, I guess, prize for winning the division, despite it being less points. Because I only needed three more points in my final three games in order to get the title, uh, the promotion, which would be 10k coins. And five points, oh, only two points, actually, for the... Yeah, two points for the promotion, five points for the title, and the title would give 13k coins. So I thought it was fair enough to pick up the pack there and make up for it that way. And it will pretty much be the end of the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it, and uh, that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.